we've got three categories of riders. There are riders who are here in the here and now who are there to win. And then there's a group of riders who it's all about learning to win. And then in any race, you're going to have a group of riders who are going to try and help somebody to win. What are you doing? You tip the whole box up. Oh, are you dropping bits everywhere? You you do the tires, alright, and I'll actually do the whole build. Yeah, well, what what rims are we having on? Like, it's two different. Well, you can decide, mate. But I'm cracking on with the build. I don't know. I guess for me, I'm just still a big kid. I always had tons of Lego growing up. Yeah, like you said, kind of you kind of switch off while doing it. So uh, yeah, it's always a fun thing to do for me, anyway. I guess we raced a little bit against each other when. I was kind of doing track stuff with Wiggins and um, would have been doing what crits and stuff. I think we had one race. We did the Nocturne. We were off the front together all day. I spend time with him. Oh, I go around to his house sometimes. Have a let me boss like, me around. Oh, I don't know. I wouldn't say boss you around. It's like having a little brother. He's a pain, but you kind of love him at the same time. Yeah, the, you know these are the races which get me excited. And you know, as soon as you finish them, you're kind of thinking about the next year already. It's difficult when uh, when you're kind of like. Um, you know, not as big a rider say, you know, like guys like Wow or G or whatever or through me, you know, they can just say, right, this year I want to win this with this, this, this. Whereas when you're kind of a bit younger and you're kind of still in that, oh, and you do. Oh, I'm sticking a sticker on me. Um, when you're still in that development kind of phase, it's, it's, it sounds a bit like, you know, a bit like, a bit stupid, you know, every year going, oh, I just want to continue progression and get better. But that's pretty much what it is. It's hard to, you know. At the end of the day, it is a, it is a job for us. So we've got to do like, the job we've been given. And yeah, I think that's one of my main goals for this year is to make sure I fulfill the role that I've been given for each race and do that to the best of my ability. You could be a, a way higher level in a race like Flanders and just do a really, really big job and not finish the race. And then maybe the year before you finished 30th, but you played a bigger role in it for what the team's trying to achieve. Just making the most of every single race I do, I think is, is kind of my big thing for this year and, and not taking racing for granted, to be honest. First one I did with Sky. So before I just came here to Belgium, raced those races, hadn't really a clue where I am, just followed the signs. Yeah, a day like today makes a big difference. You get to know the course better. It's good to get it back in your head again. So yeah, every year we, we, we start with a recon of, uh, of Newsblad. It's the first time for the guys to be back here in, in Belgium. They get used to the bike, to the to the tires, check the tire pressure. It, it is always difficult in the classics because uh, it's, it's a really specific type uh, of racing. Yeah, you cannot make mistakes. On the other hand, you learn by making mistakes. So it is, uh, and you only have a few shots a year. Yeah. You don't have a lot of time to, to learn. So that's why also the recons are, are really important. So you, that you know exactly where you are and, and what's coming up. Of course, I can tell them in the radio, but it's, it's, it works 10 times better when you know yourself already where you are. All good? Yeah, yeah. yeah the young guys, eh? The young guys always... <laughs> yeah. They're always the same, eh? Right. The young guys always wanna... Yeah, yeah. It's good, eh? I don't know what their plan is today, but... I saw the races in two days. <laughs> well, I'll take it. You know, it's not the first time. You've seen that before, isn't it? <laughs> you were the same. Wolvenberg, this is a real key sector. Yeah, yeah, this is this is crucial. This is where it could really kick off. Yeah, yeah, here it starts. Here, uh, definitely it starts here. That's why that point where we stopped uh, before. That's that's the crucial, most important point of the uh, of the whole day. And then you come here, and here it's open. You see, yeah. there's always the crosswind. And it's always going to be full into Molenberg anyway. And it's lined out, and then a bit of crosswind. No chance to move up. No chance. No. And then from Molenberg, it's 4k to the Haaghoek, then Leiberg, Berendries, so it's, yeah. yeah. When he says something's going to happen, nine times out of ten he's right. Where the race is going to go on this course with the, with like, you know, it's not like he'll pick the hardest climb and say that's where it's going to go. He'll look at the whole course and think, right, with this run to this run to this one, the gap in between there. He knows all the roads, like the back of his hand as well, just from how many years he's done these races and if he didn't have someone like Sebastian in the car it'd be like as much of a disadvantage just just like turning up the day of the race and not not even seeing the course before but to put it in 
layman's terms, to put it simply, unless you have a good DS who knows all the roads in the car, there's no point starting these races. Yeah. Because you could be the strongest guy going, but if you don't know what's going on and what's coming up, you're stuffed. So he's 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 like your, your eighth man, really, on, in the team. You know, you've got Chris Lawless, second year pro now, and um, he'll look up to Ian. You know, when he was in junior, Ian was winning this race. Ian's won this race twice before Lawless even started, you know, his pro journey. I remember being, you know, Bernie, Heyman, these guys, Jez Hunt, and like them passing on the knowledge and what to look out for and where to be and got to pass that on and you know it helps us all as a group and as a team to get better and better. You do all and lawless and help them pick up them points and they were here doing a recon with Kinesi as well. You kind of almost forget that Yogi's such a big rider just Yogi. and just kind of just Yogi you know. He's got a lot of experience and he's, he's a great guy to have around. You know he doesn't say so much about the races or anything you know he's not like someone like Nisi's always chatting about the races always giving advice and this could happen here, this could happen there. But you know with Yogi, when he says something, it, he says it with like a lot of conviction and you kind of buck up and you pay attention to be honest. So no, they, they're, like guys like that are very different in their styles, but both equally valuable. You can see when they aren't a ride together, you know, although they might not say it, guys like Christopher Lawless, he'll look up to Ian and see what he's done in these races and the races he wants to be good at. And good morning. And a good job, <laughs> a bit like this guy. Yeah, they'll look up to guys like Christian Knees as well, you know, long-term season pros. So. so, yeah, I'm not going to say it again, but uh, welcome to the start of the season. So it's going to be pretty clear that we have uh, Yogi and Dylan as uh, the protected riders. would like to see you, uh, Wine, trying to save energy as much as possible, because I think you are ready now to, you played a role in the final last year. I think you are better now and make this next step. So always keep a good eye on what's going on and that's Christian and will always be in the first part and he has experience and then Yogi as well. You, you get the feeling what, what is going on and you as well Dylan. So uh, it's always difficult. It's, it's not that you have a summit finish and go on top to alt the and I know exactly I do 450 watts and then no one will follow me. So uh, that's a bit where, where you guys need to have this, uh, how do you call it? Uh, Finger spitzer gefühl, cast instinct. But we can relax afterwards. But those five hours is like that's why you train for all winter. Not only these five hours, but another six, seven times five hours racing. And that's why you why you put all the effort in. Thanks guys. <laughs>
Brian's first time at Luke. We, well, we came years ago when Luke got third, and we were obviously at the finish line with my Welsh flag, because I'm from North Wales, so I was very proud. When the friendships we've made via social media and then meeting up has been, well, it's all kicked off. I'm just kind of speechless, I guess. You know, obviously you got always it. want to kind of step up and, and kind of be in the, the active end of these races, and you kind of believe you do it, but no, we're not until you actually do it, you, oh, you no, don't know if you can. So yeah, I'm just, okay. I'm just a bit in shock, to be honest. <laughs> Yeah, and I had to sling off him and round a few more guys. And it's even nicer to see a young guy like Owain who, who really steps up this year. And uh, we all knew he had uh, the potential. Yeah, finishing second here in this race with that final, what he did, uh, is pretty impressive. You know, I get really excited, but at the same moment you think, oh, maybe he's already caught back, you know, because it's 30 seconds later. But uh, then we saw when he crossed the finish line, then we were super happy. Yeah, it's really nice. Uh, end of, uh, of this opening weekend. Yeah, it went really well. Um, still can't really believe it, to be honest. Yeah. You know, like growing up, these are the races, you know, get excited about and always wanted to do well in. You kind of hope you can be at that level and you think, oh, maybe these races suit me, but until you actually do it, it's like a big if, isn't it? So, yeah, to be at the front end in, in Newsblad, I was super happy with how I rode there and then I was a bit unsure how I'd back up after a big day yesterday and then to still have really good legs and then, yeah, I just can't believe it to be honest.